Howdy again everyone. As I've already mentioned, a little bit later this year, when the coronavirus situation is all calmed down, I'll be putting together a new video about the sharpest camera lenses I've ever tested, but in order to do that, I'm getting together a bit more information about some of the top contenders. A number of extremely sharp lenses were tested by me when I only had a Canon 6D camera with its full frame 20 megapixel sensor and nowadays that's actually quite low resolution. So I'm testing out a couple of Sigma's portrait lenses on my Sony a7R 2 and I thought you might like to see a short video about how the Sony version of their 135mm f1.8 art lens, which is actually designed for digital SLR cameras, performs. I'd like to thank Sigma for loaning me this lens for a few days just for testing on this review, although as usual it's a totally independent video. Let's take a look. The first impression you get, unsurprisingly, is that the lens is an absolute monster. The considerable size of the original version for digital SLRs has been added onto by what is essentially a built-in adapter to make up for the mirrorless camera's shorter flange distance, so there's a gap between the mount and the rear glass element, but that gap has been thoughtfully nicely flocked on the inside to prevent any reflections from sneaking in. The rear of the lens still has a weather sealing gasket, and it's still fully electronic, but this time optimised for the Sony E-mount. The lens still uses the same ultrasonic autofocus motor as before, and the large focus ring is still mechanically coupled to the focus system, it can turn at any time and it works nice and smoothly. A mechanically coupled focus ring is quite a novelty on a mirrorless camera these days. In use, the autofocus system was fast enough, but not quite as snappy as other lenses designed for mirrorless cameras. It has to do a quick micro-adjustment before totally landing focus, but you must take into account the hefty glass elements it's moving around, and that mirrorless cameras tend to be happier to work with efficient stepping motor lenses, rather than the more common ultrasonic ones that you tend to see on digital SLRs, although this performance is still perfectly fine. As the motor turns, it emits a quiet whooshing sound. If you're shooting video, that will pick up on your camera's microphone just a little bit. The all-important eye autofocus feature on my camera worked properly with this lens, as did the in-body image stabilisation. Overall, in terms of build quality, the lens works really nicely and handles well, despite its gigantic size. So let's take a look at image quality. Optically, this lens is the same as the original digital SLR versions, so if you want to see a full review of its optics, head over to the full review on my channel. But as I mentioned, the unknown quantity for me here is its sharpness on a high resolution full frame camera sensor, so today I've mounted it onto my Sony a7R 2 with its full frame 42 megapixel sensor. In camera corrections are turned on. Straight from f1.8, sharpness in the middle of the image is extremely high, and what's really encouraging to see is that there's no purple fringing on contrasting edges. It really is a perfect performance right away here in the middle, and over in the corners, resolution and contrast continue to be almost perfect. Remember, we're working at f1.8 here on a 42 megapixel camera, so it's pretty seriously impressive. Stop down to f2.8, and we see just the tiniest little increase in brightness and resolution, and at f4, well, I've never quite seen resolution like that before on my Sony a7R 2 the lens stays this sharp as you stop down the aperture further, and it's only at f16 that the first signs of softness from diffraction begin to creep in. Well, I knew already that this lens was sharp, but that still didn't stop me being blown away by its performance here. Is it the sharpest I've ever tested? I think it might well be. I would say that it has just the tiniest edge over the Sigma 85mm f1.4 art lens, which I tested previously. You will have to wait a few more months for the final comparison video to come out to really know, but until then, peace out, stay safe, and God bless.